This animation schematically shows how a trench is created. Depending on the soil conditions of the trench area, a maximum depth of 1.25 meters or about 4 feet of soil is dug out and the first shoring plate positioned in the trench. Then the first corner rail is positioned over the shoring plate guide and lowered in place. The second shoring plate is set into the outer support guide and positioned at exactly 90 degrees to the first shoring plate. The important thing here is that the components have to create a 90 degree angle vertically and horizontally. With the same precision, the second corner rail and the third shoring plate are put in place. It's important that the alignment of the shoring plates must be parallel to one another. Now the pre-installed slide rail shoring frame is threaded into the shoring plate guides. Through excavation and alternate pressing of the plates, rails and rolling struts, the shoring of the trench finally reaches the right depth. By having free access all around the pit, the second trench field can begin even before the full shoring depth is reached. Otherwise, the first field would have to be totally installed to the full depth before proceeding. As with the first field, the pre-excavation is done to a maximum of 1.25 meters. Immediately adjacent to the first shoring field, two lengthwise shoring plates, a corner rail, and an end plate are threaded into the outer rail guides and then aligned. The fourth corner rail completes the self-contained construction trench. The upper edge of the outer shoring plate has reached the top edge of the trench. An extension plate can increase its height or, as presented in the simulation, be installed at the same level of the inner shoring plate for increased support.